Go live to London, where Premier Doug Ford is addressing the Association of Municipalities of Ontario. Last year alone, our population grew by more than 500,000 people. At this rate, Ontario will add, at minimum, 5 million more people in the next 10 years. That's like adding two new cities nearly the size of Toronto in a decade. Ontario is now the fastest growing jurisdiction in all of North America, bar none. We're growing faster than both Texas and Florida, the two fastest growing states south of the border. Hundreds of thousands of families are coming to Ontario from other parts of Canada and from all around the world for a better life and for better opportunities. Because there's no better place in the world to call home to start a business, to start a family, than here in Ontario. <laughs> We're seeing new businesses set up shop, and these are pretty staggering numbers. Over 85,000 new businesses registered in Ontario just last year. We're attracting billions of dollars in new investments and new jobs across all sectors in all regions of the province. And I have to tell you, as Premier, nothing brings me more joy than joining you in your communities to welcome new investments. Another factory or a new shift, another production facility or a state-of-the-art manufacturing lab. In April, I joined my good friend, I call him Mayor Barry, the great mayor of Kitchener, and Mayor McCabe to break ground on the University of Waterloo and City of Kitchener's Innovation Arena for health science startups. In May, I was thrilled to join Mayor Leggett to celebrate Moderna's major investment to make vaccines in Cambridge. And I'll never forget last year, standing shoulder to shoulder with Mayor Dilkins to celebrate Canada's first large-scale electric vehicle battery plant in Windsor. Or, or this past spring in St. Thomas, alongside Mayor Preston, better known as Mayor Yes, Let's Get It Done, to, <laughs> to announce that Volkswagen was following suit with their first overseas gigafactory. And friends, I just want to take a moment to talk about our growing auto sector. Working with great mayors like Drew and Joe, our Indigenous labour and business partners, we're building a homegrown electric vehicle supply chain that's going to benefit every community in this province for generations to come. We're connecting critical minerals in Northern Ontario and clean steel makers in Hamilton and Sault Ste. Marie to automakers and battery manufacturers across Ontario. Over the past two and a half years, we've attracted over $25 billion in auto and EV battery investments. And today, Ontario is the only jurisdiction, not only in North America, but the entire world, where the world's six largest auto makers have set up shop. These and thanks to each and every one of you. These investments, they're spurring further growth across all regions of the province and across our manufacturing sectors. In fact, last month alone, Ontario added more than 7,800 manufacturing jobs to our economy. That's more new manufacturing jobs than all 50 U.S. states combined. Ontario's manufacturing sector now employs over 820,000 people, the highest it's been in decades. That's, that's 820,000 workers with good, stable employment. That's 820,000 workers who are proud of what they're making right here in Ontario. And across all sectors, 700,000 more people are working today than when we took office in 2018. We are an economic powerhouse, not just in North America, but across the world with a GDP of over $1 trillion. Trends, friends, our economy grows 
As our population grows, we need to make sure our infrastructure keeps up. That's why across Ontario, we've embarked on the most ambitious capital plan in our province's history. We're investing over $184 billion over the next 10 years, of which $50 billion is going to support more than 50 new hospital projects across Ontario. We're investing $28 billion in roads and highways and more than $70 billion in transit as we build the largest transit expansion in North America. Shovels are in the ground to build the new Ontario line. Work is underway on a bridge crossing over the future Bradford Bypass. We're building the new Highway 413 stretching across Halton, Peel and York regions. In Windsor, we're widening and expanding Highway 3 from two to four well, We've been listening to Essex Premier Lee Doug Region. Ford uh, live in and London. He's addressing the Association of Municipalities of Ontario.